Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a video on the Click Smart Padlock and um, it's going for a good price. Let's check this out. All right, to start with, let's take a look at the box. On the front, it says Click Smart Padlock. Use the phone or unlock with keypad. Um, also, the iOS is Android or Bluetooth here. It has a six month battery life. And then on the back, it shows you that it's a two in one keyless locking system, Bluetooth control via click app, or you can manually do it with the number combination. And also, it's USB rechargeable. Keep in mind, you can download the click app via App Store or Google Play. And it's manufactured by a company called Zoomy. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. I have to admit that. This is going to be very easy to open because prior to this video, I had already opened up the box and removed the padlock in order to charge it up so that it would work properly during this video demo. All right, here's the lock. And as you can see, it's a nice size and it's silver, USB cable included. And on the bottom, we have some paperwork. The first item is a coupon, and if you want 20% off, go for it. Um, I have no interest in it. Let's go ahead and put that to the side here. And the Click Smart Padlock User Guide. Let me tell you folks, this is a excellent guide. Normally, user guides are not very well done. This one is very well done. Product features charging port, indicator light, power button, numeric keypad. Up here on the right side, we have charging your smart lock. I wanted to point this out. It takes one and a half to two hours to fully charge your lock. But keep this in mind, it will last up to six months, which is very cool. Okay, let's take a close up look at the lock. First, the USB cable. It works, however, it's a little bit on the short side. If you have another one that you use for your phone, you might want to use that because you need to keep in mind that this does not come with a wall charger, just the USB cable. So you might need to use the wall charger that you use with your phone. Okay, a close up look at the keypad here. Um, to begin with, we have a wake up light, we have a power button. And we have a numeric keypad, one, two, three, and four. And we have a USB port, which is covered with a little rubber cover there to protect it from moisture and dirt. Let me go ahead and take that cover off. It doesn't come off completely. And you can see the USB port in there, nothing special. It does work with the USB cable that comes with this. And it should work with yours that you um, have with your phone as well. Now let's go ahead and press the power button. And the wake up light blinks. And then we can go ahead and press 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the keypad. And that will pop open the lock. And as you can see, it popped it open really quick. Now this has a good, nice size weight to it. It feels good in the hand and seems well constructed. Now that's it for manually opening this up. Let's go ahead and try to open this up via our phone. And we do this by downloading a app from uh, either the Play Store or the App Store. In my case, I'm downloading it on my Galaxy and I'm downloading it from Google Play. Once you find the Click Lock app, download it, install it on your phone as you see me doing it here. Then open the Click app and go through the setup. And we have three pages here. Easy binding. Bind the lock with a simple code scan. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and move through here. Easy unlocking. Unlock via app or simply with a numeric keypad even when your phone is not with you. Easy sharing, share the lock remotely with friends and family from anywhere in the world, which is pretty cool. You can do it from anywhere in the world. I like that. Anyhow, uh, start using. 
Okay, let's go through the setup. This requires me to type in an email and set up a password here and log in. And I'm going to go ahead and do that and be right back. Okay, I am back. I've logged into the app. It says no device found. So let me add the lock by pressing add lock. Choose binding method scan QR code, Bluetooth ID number, or cancel out of the app. I'm going to go ahead and scan the QR code, and that's on the back of the padlock, and that's the quickest method for me. So I'm going to press that, and presto, it uh, went ahead and discovered the padlock, and it allows me to personalize it, and I'm going to type in my name, Nick, and confirm. Now it's in the app and it recognizes the padlock. So let me go ahead and press Nick and see if we can unlock the lock. And I'm going to press unlock and presto. It happens really quick actually and no problems at all. Um, one thing to keep in mind, if you are having a problem unlocking it you just need to press the power button and that wakes up the lock and allows the bluetooth to communicate and connect to the padlock with your phone all right um, i like this padlock i think i'm going to get a lot of use out of it and it's well made okay one more thing that i do want to mention is how to go about changing the password or the combination uh, lock to your liking um, once you have the click app open and you're in the screen that says unlock there's three dots up there tap on that and you can unbind lock sharing manager usage history and settings or cancel Let's go ahead into settings because that's where I want to show you how to change your password. And you can change your name of the lock and numeric keypad. And here is where you change the default uh, combination from 1, 2, 3, 4 to anything that you like it to be. And also, there are three unlocking modes that you can use to unlock the padlock. The first one is the button within the click app. The second one is a fingerprint scanner if your phone is equipped with it. And the third one is unlocking it manually with the um, keypad. All right, that's the end of this video. I hope you like my review. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.